the chairman of the Council of Governors and uh, the governors who are here, the Speaker of the National Assembly and the Senators, Honorable Fred Matiangi and all the other Cabinet Secretaries who are here, development partners, diplomats, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Hamjambo. Hamjambo Tena. I was in Makweni two weeks ago, and I, was, and I knew that this conference was coming, and I promised the governor that I would come, because I've been a regular feature in these conferences since they started. So, but this Makweni conference has had history. As well as say, Hayawi, 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 Hayawi. Yeah, you know, it's not the first, it has been postponed so many times. But it will come. Now, when we're here, we, one cannot resist the temptation to do a journey down the memory lane and to see where we came from with the evolution. Some of you here I know were faces at the Bomas uh, Constitutional Conference. We knew that evolution was one of the most contentious chapters at Bomas. It had, uh, because of basically ignorance about evolution, it had very many opponents. And remember, at one session, when we were discussing, a gentleman student spoke so passionate about devolution that it was resolved that he should become the chairman of that committee. And he led that committee so efficiently that he became a marked person. Then one day, in front of his children in broad daylight, some people just moved into his house and shot him directly while his children were watching helplessly. This is none other than the late doctor of the Mumbai. And today I'm going to request you, in honor of the late doctor of the Mumbai, to stand up and observe one minute silence. Thank you. We are celebrating a decade of this bold experiment with the two levels of government, which has been a remarkable journey uh, for our people. It has been full of triumphs and challenges. At this seventh conference, you have decided to confront the elephant in the room of human survival, the issue of climate change. This is a clear indication that counties are coming of age and venturing into some of the greatest challenges humanity is facing now and the centuries ahead. I commend you for this.